And we are back. Hello, everybody. It's Friday afternoon, 3 o'clock. I hope this is a better time for most everybody. Uh, Mondays are a little tough, although today was a little tough itself because just an hour ago, I was walking two and a half blocks to the Firestone place to pick up our Mustang because our brakes suddenly decided to uh, give us a problem. Whoopee. <laughs> it's always something. Uh, so I was rushing back here and trying to figure everything out and get everything set up. And I am going to be painting a gator today. You can see the feet of the uh, ballerina with the umbrella from the stretch room. And I have my mood mug of the day. This is one of the very first mugs uh, that I ever got that was a Disney mug. Um, a lot of Peter Pan. Uh, my kids and family and wife, everybody, I'll say out. They always, always say, I will never grow up. And they got that right. It's ain't going to happen. Um, <laughs> and, and I said I was going to talk some about uh, uh, Leota today, who uh, I got to work with briefly. And uh, I thought since I was painting a gator, I'd tell you about a little bit about her trying to feed a gator. So <laughs> I have, I have uh, my colors. I'm going to hold them up in one of my fancy mixing uh, things that used to have a salad in it, I think. Uh, so I have black, I have uh, um, burnt umber, I have permanent green uh, deep already mixed with some color there. This is hooker's green, and I've already mixed up a little bit of the uh, uh, beige and brown tone that's in the gator. And, uh, and of course I have white. I have some yellow here for his eye, and I have white for his teeth. And we're going to see what we can do. And I think before I tell you any more uh, about Leota and everything, I'm going to actually start painting. Um, I'm going to see how much I can do without having to put my glasses on because I know I get a reflection and I don't want to wear them anyway. But <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, when I start squinting like this, you know, I somebody tell me to put my glasses on real quick. Um, and... Uh, Oh, hi, Sanya. It's nice to have you with us. Uh, tell everybody about this. I'm R.J. Ogren. Uh, share this with your friends. Uh, let everybody know I'm on live, and we're about to have a little bit of fun here painting. So at least that's the plan. Now I'm going to use some of this. Uh, I'm going to mix some of this with white for the... Uh, lower jaw of the gator here, and we're going to paint that around. I guess you would call that his lips, wouldn't you? Um, I thought it would be fun to do the gator because also he's larger. You can see him better. And um, let's see how this goes. I'm going to take a little bit of... of uh, a darker brown here. Put in here, and I'm going to blend this together. These two colors. Green in there. Gotta get that out. And then a little bit of black. Like I say, if you've just joined me, uh, I am R.J. Ogren. Um, we'll see how this goes today. I hope we get quite a few people to join us. If, uh, if not, this will be, um, you'll be able to check on this anytime to watch. Um, if it turns out that doing this once a week is, is way too much, then we'll cut back and just do it uh, every other week. So I'm going to wait to tell you about Leota until a few more people join in here. Um, and if you are just joining now, I'm R.J. Organ, uh, the artist. And uh, if you don't know me, I was one of the original four audio animatronic artists at Walt Disney World in the 70s. I left there in 1980 to go out on my own. And I've been on my own ever since I've been married. No, I no, I don't. Suzanne and I have been married 51 years, 52 years in September. And actually, this, this picture up here on the wall of her I did from a photo I took. Uh, and that's in front of the White Garden at Kensington Palace in, uh, where Princess Diana used to live. We love England. We 
have lived there if we could. Um, but, all right, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this lighter shade in, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of white, lighten up the uh, upper part of the lip again here, just a little bit more. I thought maybe, now you also, you, if you all watched before, you've seen me painting on the castle, uh, and a lot of you know that the castle itself is done, a little bit more white. a little more contrast with the black that will be behind there where the tongue is. And, uh, well, this is going to be the good part. I tried to read something and I don't have my glasses on. So there go the glasses. Uh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> Just shared uh, of your, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Um, and uh, as, you, as you can see what I'm painting, it's the gator from uh, the stretch room. And I am going to put in some more light color right here on the lip line of the gator. A little bit of white to highlight that lip. I'm blending that in with this uh, lighter shade here. And now I'm going to take the, the darker, trying to get that in the light so you see it. Boy, that really reflects. Well, anyway, um, I want to thank the cameraman today, myself. <laughs> this is so much trying to set this up, and uh, and I stick myself in a corner when I do it uh, somewhere in the studio, um, trying to find the best place in the studio to do this. We're going to be... Uh, hopefully buying a house. So we've owned houses our whole life, but when we moved up here to Chicago in uh, uh, 13 years ago, uh, we decided to hold off a little bit, which turned out to be good because of the recession. Um, yet in, uh, but now we're gonna try to buy again. Uh, still in the Chicago area, we're not going anywhere else. Uh, we love Chicago area and hopefully not too far out from Chicago. Um, those of you who are not from Chicago, it's a great town, great city. Um, actually, uh, it's actually an easy city to drive in, but I, but the parking is like incredibly, ridiculously expensive. So we prefer just to uh, take the train. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm going to take a little more black now, put some more on his lower, lower part of his jaw. All the years we lived in, uh, lived down there. I saw quite a few gators. Never had one in our yard. I'm so glad. Although I found <laughs> when I was when the kids grew up and I was uh, decided it was time to tear down their playhouse I had built and uh, and get rid of it, um, I discovered underneath it a uh, rattlesnake, full size, and a bunch of little rattlesnakes. <sighs> yeah, that was fun. Um, one of the fun things about Florida. <laughs> Actually, as far as I'm concerned, another fun thing about Florida is the fact that uh, Walt Disney World is there. A little bit of water for this here. And again, if you're just joining me, I oh, I see we got more people joining in. Um, I've got a couple shades of uh, uh, of a brownish green. Uh, I'm using burnt umber, Booker's green, white, black, permanent green deep. Uh, mixing some of them together and I'm blending the colors to uh, create this lower jaw. Now, it, it already was painted, obviously, but it's not done. That is an underpainting that I do. Uh, I do the block colors and uh, you know, I'm actually blending it together right on the uh, canvas. I'll go with this darker shade here.
once I get this in place, for those of you who just joined in, uh, 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 please share this with everybody. Um, I enjoy doing it. Uh, like to do it once a week. Oh, and I and for those of you just joining too, I was telling everybody uh, when we started that uh, our uh, Mustang uh, had to go in the uh, shop this morning to have a brake job. And uh, just an hour ago, I was running down, to, literally uh, running, on my feet, running. I, <laughs> we're only two and a half blocks away from the Goodyear place that uh, was working on the car um, and uh, had to pick up the car, pick up the Mustang. We have a 2000 Mustang that we bought last year for $4,000, only has 60,000 miles on it. Um, and it kind of replicates the, uh, it's five speed. We love stick ship. Uh, our first car was a 65 Mustang new when we, when we first got married, which we bought for $2,500 new. <gasps> cool. Oh, I wish those days were back. Uh, let's see who else is on here right now. Uh, uh, Rian Lehman. <laughs> okay. Hi. Uh, Mary, Mary Catherine, um, it's your favorite haunted mansion painting. You know, this is the most popular one. I think probably um, nine out of every 10 people, if you ask what their favorite one is in haunted mansion, it's this one. Um, I wish that my dad had Facebook because he would love watching your live videos. Oh, well, thank you. Um, well, you can get him to watch it on a, on a replay. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, Stan, you made it to a live show. Hey, Stan, so how you doing? Here we are. Uh, you were complaining the last two times that we weren't live. Um, wow, actually, that's looking pretty good. I got a little bit of a bump out there, but I can touch that up afterwards. I'm going to put a little bit more black down here now. That drawing this a little bit. Um, acrylics are, are unusual. Uh, Black takes longer to dry. I... And, uh, but brown colors dry the fastest. That's the same in house paints too, when you're painting with house paints. You got something that's brown, it's gonna dry much quicker than any other color. All right, so. Now, you see the little flag right there? Swedish, yes, I am half Swedish. Um, my grandparents came over on the, uh, not the Mayflower, they came to Ellis Island in 1910 or something like that, a long time ago. Um, and, uh, Sloppy there, are we? Okay, fix that. Black. Actually, Suzanne, um, my wife, um, goes all her has a direct lineage all the way back to uh, the Mayflower. Uh, William Bradford, she's a direct descendant. Got this big thick book that uh, has the family all the way back to William Bradford and Mayflower. She's in it. I'm in it only because I married her. <laughs> but our kids are in it. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, come on, meet her. I do a lot of blending right on the canvas with, with color to blend it. And I have to do it fast because the acrylics are gonna dry. Um, like I said, the browns dry really fast. Um, 
anybody ask any question about what I'm doing? Uh, oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. I said Ryan. It's Ryan. R I A N. Well, that's a neat spelling. Uh, it's your wife's favorite picture too. Oh, very nice. The Stackman and the Quicksand. That's my other favorite. And let's see. Um, Oh, thank you, Madeline. You've been wanting to watch me make my magic come to life. <laughs> hey, Stephen, how you doing? Um, okay, for those of, I think I'm, most of you I, I've been on here before, or your first time, uh, be sure to share this. Uh, let your friends know I'm on right now. Um, and, um, oh golly, I didn't, uh, I didn't start my timer. I'm on here for uh, 15 minutes already. So do that I'm trying to keep it to a half an hour so when i post these there i know i did my first one it was an hour long which a lot of people said they liked but if you want me to go a little longer i will just let me know uh <laughs> all right that's about where i want it what i'm going to do now is i'm going to switch to um, the inside of the mouth there's a reason for that that i'm doing that right now because um, I kind of, I want to work my way across from left to right since I'm right-handed. Um, and uh, I need some red. I need red. I need something to put it in is what I need. Right here. Fix that real quick. <laughs> there we go. Cover the red up. It was when I use Windsor Newton uh, acrylics. Uh, they're my favorite, uh, but I, I have used Liquitex and uh, <clears throat> not as often with Liquitex anymore. I usually use uh, Windsor Newton. I find them to be far superior. Um, this is a great red. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to put a little bit up in here. Now, I said I was going to talk about Leota. Uh, when I first went to, I know a lot of you have read the book. When I first went to uh, uh, Disney World, and of course, first I was a uh, monorail pilot, which was a lot of fun, but uh, only for a few months, and then I got the job as in uh, animation. I mean, we were called animation artists because it was easier to say than audio animation artist and the figures even though they were three-dimensional were animated so at Disney World they just called us the animation artist and I found out uh, when I got the job that uh, Leota also known as Madame Leota had been there uh, for some quite some time for I guess a year or two training the other three artists um, on how to do all the figures, paint the skins, put the skins on, uh, just all the tricks involved in uh, working with these figures and all the attractions. And so when she left, they realized they did need a, a three artist to get the work done. And I got lucky enough to get the job. But uh, I was kind of bummed out that I didn't get to meet Leota. Well, as it turned out, I'm putting a little bit of red here on, on its uh, lower lip. So it doesn't get any clear. So I'm putting the red in, and then I'm uh, blending in the black with it. And uh, let's see, I'm putting it in here. It kind of curves around the at the bottom of each tooth there. Curves down. And then go back to some black. And a couple of years after I'd been there, Leota, uh, who sculpted the uh, a lot of the three-dimensional figures uh, at, in the uh, Disneyland and Disney World, 
um, along with Blaine Gibson and others. Um, and of course, she put skins on the figures and painted them and everything. And, but anyway, she had done some work uh, for some exterior stuff on the uh, Polynesian Hotel. And they were going to be installing them, so she came out uh, for three weeks. And what a fun three weeks. She would, she would come in early in the morning. Uh, we usually would get there either at six or seven, depending on when the park opened so that we would have a chance to go around and check all the attractions. And uh, she would have coffee with us, uh, even go to some of the attractions with us. She was a, she was a blast. Uh, and this one day, uh, this story's in the book, I'm only gonna tell you some of it, but she, a uh, wonderful woman, she loved animals. And, but we got a call from uh, the supervisor in operations that the uh, Indians were messing around out in the village. <laughs> now this is the Indian village that you see when you ride on the on the uh, train or you see when you're on the river boat. And uh, so we jumped in our uh, cargo golf cart, we call it the cargo instead of the golf cart because that was the manufactured name of it. And uh, we had a flatbed in the back. Two people could sit in the front. So uh, Tom was, or, or Tom and, and Jane, I believe, were in the front, and uh, Leota and Lee and I were all in the back, and we went flying out to the Indian village to see what was going on. Now, the park wasn't open yet, which was good. Uh, and usually they check this every morning. They always check the Indian village and check all the attractions. Because uh, somebody likes to play a little joke now and then. I'm not here. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. Um, what's that ring? It's itching on our friend Michelle. She realized I'm online. Um, anyway, the Indians had all been uh, moved around so that. Uh, one of the uh, Indian women was uh, riding uh, with the Indian chief on his horse. And uh, I won't say how, but uh, other Indians had cigarettes hanging in their mouths. And uh, it was pretty funny. And that would happen once in a while. And so anyway, we didn't happen all the time, just once in a while. So we quickly were fixing all that. And uh, laughing about it and as we're as we're doing this uh we hear this loud growl um and uh turn around and i mean right away we knew that it was a gator from the sound of it um <laughs> it was it was about a gosh eight footer maybe um and it was only about seven or eight feet away from uh, Leota, who still had her uh, pastry from breakfast that she had, was eating. And she had her hand out and was going, here, here you go, come on, here's a piece. And <laughs> we were like shocked, we were like going, oh dear God. Uh, uh, gators can, uh, in the first, once they jump up to move, and, and they can move in about 10 feet and they're as fast as a racehorse in that 10 feet of time. So Leota was definitely in the danger zone. And all of a sudden we see this streak fly past us and hit Leota from the side and push her uh, out of the way of the gator just as it leaped toward Leota. <laughs> <Which, laughs> so we were, we were laughing and everything else we jumped back in the cargo and ran back to the uh our studio behind small world and we're going like leota what were you doing you what were you thinking she goes well, i was just trying to feed it <laughs> but that was leota and she was very good friends with uh, uh mark and alice davis uh, alice davis wrote the foreword for our first book and uh Alice and I were talking about this because uh, uh, Alice, uh, she 
really loved that story about uh, Leota. She goes, yeah, that's Leota, or was Leota, who died sadly in 1980, just as she was uh, preparing to uh, go to Tokyo Disneyland to do work there. And I talked to Alice on occasion. I haven't talked to her in, in probably about three or four months. I need to give her a call. So uh, what, let me see. Let me stop here for a second and drink from my uh, mood mug of the day. For those of you just joining us, it's oh, got to go this way. It's one of my very first mugs, uh, Peter Pan mugs that I got years ago. And uh, oh, Alex. Uh, Looks good already. Thank you. Oh, you're from the UK. Ah, love it. We were just talking about the UK a little bit ago. My wife and I love England. We usually stay near Amersham. Have some really good friends there. And uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Chris. He shared on your podcast page. Wow, that's great. Um, Fanny looks Fanny looks familiar. Yeah, it does. I don't know where it, it's from, but uh, okay. <laughs> Once I finish the uh, tongue here, I'm using, I'm just using mostly uh, black and red to create this. Uh, added a little bit of white in there to give it a little bit of highlight. Now, Leota, when she uh, was uh, there before me, she trained uh, Jane uh, in the art of refeathering and refurring all the birds, of which we know there are so many in Tiki, tiki Room and, uh, and some in a few other places. But uh, Jane was very good at that, uh, among other art projects she was involved in. And uh, so Jane normally did all the birds all the time. Um, I only got to do birds once or twice. It was fun. I don't think I did them as well. I tried. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to get this guy a little bit of red on his jaw again. All right. Ah, nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I'm going to actually paint the teeth on here uh, rather than paint across here right at the moment. So I'll paint a few teeth on And I'm going to put a little bit of, mix a little bit of white and a little bit of this uh, burnt umber. The teeth are not totally white. Gators don't use Colgate. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, we just have a, just a hint of, Teeth right here. Small, small teeth. Those aren't the ones that really hurt you. And then the tooth that's curved. These uh, these teeth are, of course, on this gate are going to be much more um, elongated. Make them look scary as they do. I'll come back in with a little black here in a minute. There we go. Okay. And let's see. We got a piece back here. I know you can't see it. Well, here we'll fix that.
Anybody got pet alligators? <laughs> there's, there's a great movie, if none of you have seen it, called The Happiest Millionaire, which is based on a true story. And it was the last movie that uh, was being done, a uh, live movie, that, and when Walt was still alive. And uh, there's a picture of him with the cast, which included John Davidson, the actor and singer, um, who's still doing, still working today. And I did a portrait for John Davidson uh, back in 1973. Um, and uh, anyway, it's a great movie based on a true story. Let's see what I did. I got paint on my hand and put it right there. Good thing I can cover that up with white paint. Let's see what's in here. Now, see if I was doing this and not on camera, I would probably paint the tongue and the lower jaw and stuff, and then take a break, have some, have a have a cookie, <laughs> wait a few minutes for it to dry, so I didn't stick my hand in the thing. Um, a little bit. Other side of the mouth, right here. The reason I brought up the happiest millionaire is because the uh, main character, or one of the main characters, is Fred McMurray, and the, the uh, guy that he plays in the movie uh, actually had real uh, gators in the conservatory in his house and that's in the film and uh, Tommy Steele uh, actually did a dance with at one point part of a dance with one of those gators and uh, it was real it wasn't CG they didn't have that back then so <laughs> that made it unique in itself um, all right uh, let me look real quick. See, I need somebody here to look at stuff so I can. Uh, they're coming to Disney World in August for three weeks. Oh, it's three weeks. I hate you. Nice. Wish we'd be down there. We could see you. Um, <laughs> we're going in December. And Haunted Mansion is one of your faves. Yes, El yes, Alex, I agree with you. That's, that's definitely uh, mine. And love working in Haunted Mansion. So, oh, I've got a feature up here. Hold on one second. This one's a little shorter. Sort of the mac and cheese on the other side. Back to a little bit of black. So, um, well, I'm already past half an hour. I, <laughs> I'm having too much fun. There's painted another tooth here. And then I will switch. I'll stop on the teeth for the moment and Paint a little bit on this other jaw so you can see what's happening there. Um, in fact, yeah, let's do that so I can get a bigger brush and have some fun with this here. We'll start with a little bit of black. And I want you to know that what, when I'm done, I, I go back and, and look at your comments. Uh, and it's the craziest thing because it won't let it gets past about 45 comments or 50 and then it, I can't see them all which is really annoying on Facebook 
But then the one I did a, a couple of weeks ago that was an hour long, uh, it seemed like a few days later I was able to see all the comments, of which there were like 170. Tech savvy person. Yeah, I'm the guy who couldn't get through calculus in college. <laughs> I thought it was the professor that wasn't any good, so I switched after two weeks to another professor. And first, I decided he wasn't very good either, and then it suddenly dawned on me that it wasn't the professor, it was me. So, uh, so much for being an architect. All right. Okay. Now, we're going to take a little bit of this uh, Booker's Green I've got here and uh, put it next to that black, kind of blend it in just a little bit, and then I'm going to put a lighter color in there. This is different from the castle. You can actually see easier to see what I'm doing. It's much bigger. Um, now I'm going to go to this mix that I made of uh, burn umber and uh, permanent green and white. And we'll put in some highlight markers. Little ribbed. Little bumps going across here. Give it its look. Put that down there and then cut my little bit of it off. And there's actually more more of this brownish green right in this area here too. Let's put a little more green in there. Just talk amongst yourselves. I'm <laughs> I need more coffee. Oh, it's almost cold again. Darn. Um okay. Use a little bit of black right now. Give it that look. And I'm going to go back to the Booker's Green again. Put some more in over here. Hey, I, I still can't paint as fast as Bob Ross. Um, Booker's Green again. And obviously I am working fast because um, this does dry so quickly. And I want to blend it in. Uh, this, this gator is actually very loose um, in its style, the way it was originally painted. And in the mansion, uh, I should mention this too, the uh, originals, which is, this is not the original design uh, woman on with the umbrella. This was a later version. Uh, the first ones were done by 
Mark Davis and uh, only hung in the mansion at Disneyland for about three years. And then another artist took over because when they had to redo them, they actually painted those. Um, more prints back then like they are now. definitely going to be a longer video, but I better not let it go past an hour. I want to thank all of you for joining me. It's, it's uh, fun. It would be even more fun if I could actually hear your comments instead of uh, having to stop and look at the screen to see what you're saying. But I'm going to be here again in a second, mixing some blacks and greens here. Okay, around the eye, it's, it's black. Okay, look at this. Hey, we got it. And this is black down here around the jaw. Yeah, I went to, I post these on, uh, uh, also on YouTube. And when I do them, they're longer like this. It's, it's, uh, can be a bit of a problem trying to put them on. Hee <laughs> hee, looking good. Okay. Um, Now as it gets up, gets up into this area, it's actually black. So we go very dark here on the top. I have two of the prints, the uh, limited edition prints that we bought years ago um, on the wall here in the studio right over there, but it's the woman on the tombstone and three guys in the uh, quicksand. I don't have this one. I'll have to paint one for myself. Okay. Get the scales done. And I'll quickly paint this down here. Guess I should do his, his snout. In my senior year of high school, Suzanne and I went together in high school, but um, we broke up in our senior year, beginning of our senior year. She broke up with me, all right? That I was too immature. After all these years of marriage, she realized I haven't changed. <laughs> um, but, but that's a good thing. Uh, the, but in that, that year that we were not going together, of course, I dated a, a few other girls. Um, and one was uh, on the swim team. And uh, her family liked to go hiking in the Everglades. I did that once. I will never do it again. Uh, because while we were hiking through the wonderful Everglades, um, I stepped on something squishy in the tall grass and stuff growing in the glades. And uh, her father was right behind me and he yelled, move fast. And I just moved because I don't know what I stepped on, but it scared the heck out of me. And he came down with a machete right behind me and killed a... Um, it was a coral snake. 
Only good thing about a coral snake are very deadly, but they have to kind of gnaw on you for a half an hour. <laughs> so anyway, oh, shut up. I'm busy. Now we're at about 45 minutes. I'm going to put a little bit of white on this one. Not white. A little bit of, a little bit of highlight on this one. So that was my run-in with the uh, scary... Ever going. <laughs> I have no intention of ever going back into. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is going on here that you're all saying? Um, oh, well, Sanya. Oh, you watched a full video. Well, thank you. Okay, everybody. This is actually this has been great. Uh, see, I almost, almost I don't have his teeth all done, but uh, almost got him done. I'm going to actually uh, do his eye here so you can see what happens here. I have this yellow I mix, which is actually uh, some uh, medium yellow and a little bit of burnt umber. I think this will be the last thing we'll be able to do here in a minute. And then I come in with a little bit of black. Oh, and when you see the tombstone of Leota, by the way, I actually have a little miniature of it um, at the Haunted Mansion, just before you go in the door. That is the only tombstone that has a serious uh, saying on it. That's a tribute to Leota. I'm actually using black and uh, blending it into the yellow I just put in here while it's still wet. And a bit more of this blue over here. Okay, and then this. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Last thing, um, rinse off fresh first, because I'm going to use a little bit of uh, white, actual white this time, to uh, highlight the eye in a couple spots, and that brings it alive and. And there you are, um, close to being done gator. So let me look one more time here real quick. Um, my very favorite tombstone, mine too. Uh, I actually, oh, it was about the tombstone of Leota. I, I do a uh, haunted mansion uh, I thing I've done, a display for Halloween, and I do one for Christmas, not in the mansion. But I make all these uh, figures that I cut out and paint, and, uh, and and I do it in black light. So it's lit in black light in the front yard at Halloween. And this past year, I added a three-foot-high tombstone of this, of Leota. My tribute to her. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been a lot of fun. I enjoy doing these. I uh, take my glasses off. Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> drink a little more of my cold coffee as I say goodbye, and here's to all of you who dream. Thank you again.